Ford B at the top of the pyramid. Sure. Forty five dollar price point. Um, E six moves down to twenty two dollars, and then E twelve comes in the middle, right? The mid price point, thirty bucks. Um, and we call it E twelve because it's twice as good as E six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's pretty simple. <laughs> Jeez. No, no kid, kidding aside, the uh, the E twelve name it comes from the twelve years of ball fitting data that we use to design the product. Um, so 12, 12 years of data from the consumers, 2.5 million swings. So we took a look at all that data and we said, all right, this, this mid-price point, this distance category, what can we provide to this consumer to better serve their needs? And so what we noticed is, as we all have seen, soft has been the trend, right? Right. So we, we got in there and we said, all right, what's going on with these soft golf balls? They're, they're servicing the feel need of these players, but because they're so soft, we're losing some velocity, we're losing some distance. So that's what the R&D team tried to solve for us. How do we maintain a soft feel, but give it a little oomph, give it a little ball speed behind it. And so INSEPT's our new technology. Uh, it's a mantle layer technology. So the layer between the cover and the core. So a okay. three-piece golf ball, you got a cover, a mantle, and then a core in the center. Okay. So our new technology is called the Active Acceleration Mantle Layer. And essentially what it is, is it, it's a denser chemical compound. It's a truer chemical composition, which denser means more efficient, so less energy loss. Okay. So higher initial ball speed, higher thrust. So now we have speed coming from both the core and the mantle. So we have basically have two engines in our golf ball. And so since we have two engines, it allows us to have a soft core, but also increase velocity at the same time. So rather innovative. That's great. And you said, okay, so the E12 is actually a three-piece golf ball. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, a three-piece golf ball. For 30, a three-piece golf ball for $30. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. yep. It comes in two variations, E12 soft for the, for the player looking for the softer feels, more moderate swing speed. And then we have the E12 speed for the player that moves the club a little bit faster, looking for more of that firmer distance ball feel. Okay, now uh, conversely, uh, between the two of them, what's the, say, compression uh, between yeah. the two of them? Yeah, I always count me on this because there's no industry standard for compression. Right. We, we measure the E12 soft at around 50 points and then the E12 speed at 75. Well, those are both very, uh, very pale numbers for a lot of golfers. Yeah. yeah. A lot of golfers. Like, that covers a, a wide range of, mm -hmm. you know, anything from a, from a single to a, all the way up to a whomever. Yep. Uh, especially at the price point because that's the problem with a lot of the golf balls. A lot of the manufacturers, they've gone to the point where with the three piece ball will automatically, you know, we got to put a, you know, I mean, I think in Canadian, in Canadian money terms as well. Yeah. yeah. But right away you think of, well, geez, you know, we got to put a $45, $50 price tag off on a three piece golf ball. Mm -hmm. And with that golf ball being $30, and just based on a couple, just a couple brief passes out there with a horrible swing at the dance right now. Um, you know, that's a, a good feeling golf ball. And one thing that I'm curious about is actually how does it perform around the green? Mm -hmm. Because I know it's not a performance ball like the Tour B, yes, but, yeah. that, but that said, it still spins and you can still, yeah. if you play it accordingly, you can work it around the green. No so, question. So, what, so what's interesting is when you when you hit down on a ball with an iron or wedge, essentially what you're doing is you're, you're taking the, the wedge and you're pinching the cover in between the wedge base and the inside of the golf ball. So since this mantle is denser, it's a harder backboard that we're pinching the cover against. So it actually has more wedge spin than a traditional sirloin. So by no means am I saying this spins like a tour ball, but no, it definitely no. spins more than most balls at that price point. And, and that's the thing, like that I, that I think personally think. I mean, it's my it's my opinion, and I don't know how the manufacturers feel about this, but the average 15, 20, 25 handicap, they're not really concerned with being able to spin spin the ball around our green. So that ball would, you know. Is it going to really, is spin rates for that golfer going to be that much different Correct. than, you know? Correct. The E12 player, we're looking for play, we're looking to get you closer to the fairway, we're looking to get you into the fairway off the tee, we're looking to get you closer to the hole in terms of proximity on the second shot. That's what we're all about with E12. It's all, okay. it's all about straight distance. And right. the consistency. And, distance and control you can count on, you know, and, and know how far you're going to hit it. You're not going to have to worry about flyers in the fairway. Really? See, now that's it. Now, just based by I'm talking with you two gentlemen, there's a lot of reason to be excited about that golf ball. Yeah. Yes. Like just 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 from what you're what you're describing. Yes. You know, and that could really appeal to the masses. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, because we're able to soften it, it actually reduces side spin even more. So when LA talks about an increasing spin on approach shots, it totally is the opposite of fatigue because you're activating the core, whereas on the approach shots, you're activating primarily the cover and the mantle layer, you're not fully activating. Gotcha. Is the way you swing. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, that's a fair statement. It's called spin separation. Right. So 